Hey guys, Simon from Debra Knievels here with the new, well not really new, but the Nike CTR360 Maestri 2s. Uh, it's not an unboxing or review because I haven't really used them yet, but it's just kind of to give you a look at the boot and to kind of talk about the features on the boot. Uh, what we'll start with is the fact that I got these in soft ground. So you get the stud tightener, which is good if a stud gets loose or you're missing a stud. Uh, then we just get to the boot, uh, but before that, we have a look at the bag. Uh, it's a good feature from Nike to give you a bag with CTR written in Volt and a uh, white background. Uh, and there are your, you have your white strings to tighten up the bag. And then you have a look at the back, it's a purple kind of collar, which matches the purple here. Uh, Nike football written in white with the Nike swoosh. So I think it's really nice together. Uh, really nice bag, really helpful at the inside of the bag. Unzip the zip kind of storage kind of place for your stud tightener or you know your extra studs or whatever you really need to put in there with the boot um, but that's really it then you that's with the bag good extra from Nike happy with that uh, then you move on to the boot uh, it's a very nice boot uh, beautiful colours actually I think the purple and the white go really good together with your metallic Nike swoosh and your metallic bits at the back here you also get your Volt Nike uh, swoosh at the back and a black Nike swoosh at the front um, you start with your purple at the back by the heel, and then you at the upper, you, it's, a, it's a nice bright white kind of colour. But I think they go really well together with the black line separating the two. Uh, it's not too bright of a colour, but then again it's not an all black colour either. So it's kind of in between, which is really what you would want. It's not too flashy, so I think that that's really nice about the boot. Then getting on to the actual features of the boot. First, to, to describe the boot, it's a Kangalite synthetic or Kangalite leather, it's kind of both, uh, which it's it's a nice comfort, it provides more comfort and fit and performance and I think it's it's really nice synthetic, uh, comfortable, you know, everything that you'd want in a boot and it runs all the way through so it there's no change in synthetics or materials throughout the boot, it's a Kangalite all the way around um, and that's really good for the Kangalite, it's just what it's made of and then getting on to the passing and receiving pods of the boot so it's what CTRs really aim at when they uh, release the boots. Uh, so these are the two, so they kind of change it up from the ones. Not too drastically, but quite uh, a small bit. Uh, you have the pod, uh, passing pod right here. And you can see, if I put it like that, it is a bit spiky. So it's 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 tense there, so kind of give it a fierce strike at the ball. And it will, you know, good for passing and that kind of thing. And uh, it's webby, it's kind of like a web down here. So also helps with the passing of the ball. Uh, and these bits here, it's also like a web. It's a receiving pod, more triangular kind of shapes. So it helps to grab the tension of the ball when the ball hits your foot to keep control of the ball. And up here, it's it's a soft and um, squishy kind of material. And it's got holes in it to air out the boot to let your foot breathe. And it's also quite comfortable at the heels and at the side. Um, then moving on to here, it's also got holes here to let your foot breathe at the back. And these bits here are kind of fluorescent. They kind of glow in the dark. They're light, light kind of things. So when you're, if you're playing in the dark, you might see these better than you might see the metal on the metallic on the swoosh or something like that. But um, then moving on to the asymmetric lacing, um, it goes off to the side a small bit uh, as it comes through. Um, but it doesn't really make any difference to your play or anything. It's just a nice uh feature of the boot and provides an extra uh good control surface area which is a, which I thought is very good and then you look at the CTR 360 written in Volt there on the tongue uh, and you look at the back here you mightn't be able to see it but I'll just describe it anyway in here it's like a it's a squishy kind of material it's really nice you might get the light on it there if you can see that it's actually quite squishy uh, so it's really really comfortable on the on the heel so there'll be no slipping or you know stability as well it helps for so it's really nice uh, comfortable um, <clears throat> that's really it for the top of the boot. Uh, oh, um, just look at the inside and the sole. It's like a web, and you see the Nike swoosh there, uh, which is involved, so it's kind of hard to miss. And the main thing, oh, and these, uh, the pods. These are the receiving pods. Uh, so they're in a web. They're also kind of a structure of a web, so that when you receive the ball. Uh, in this part of the foot, they'll trap in the ball. They're kind of a foamy kind of a thing, and they trap in the ball and helps you with control of the ball at all times, uh, which I thought is very good too. Uh, so that's the main kind of you wouldn't say theme, but you know 
what they're trying to get across this uh, on this model of the boot is the kind of web structure. See, you've got it here. You've got the web-like structure here. you got it here. You have it on the sole. You can see in there. you got it on the sole. And you've also got it on the pods. So that's also a good feature. And then you go down to the sole plate. They've actually got it here too. So it's a real... It's not really a theme, but it's actually... Uh, makes the boot kind of uh, nicer and gives a bit more mystery to it, you know. Uh, and then you get the six metal studs, uh, which obviously soft ground. Uh, would not recommend these for turf, astroturf, uh, that is artificial grass, because um, they will provide you with stud pressure. They will hurt, and it's just not good. It's not made for that kind of a ground. It's made for soft, kind of wet ground, soft ground. Uh, which is why I got these. Um, in comparison to the Predator LZs, you might get away with it with wearing the Predator LZs, LZs on the AstroTurf, but uh, you would not get away with these. Uh, they're they wouldn't be good for AstroTurf. They're more they're you know for what they what you bought them for with the metal studs. So I wouldn't wear these on AstroTurf. Uh, to the sole plate, then it's just a. Kind of a hard material with the web like structure in behind uh, and your Nike swoosh in vault. So it's pretty basic with the six studs uh, and that's really it. The weight of the boot actually moving on to now. Um, it's a light it's a, it's a light boot. It's flexible at the toe box um, but I, I wouldn't call it like a, an F50 kind of a boot like it's it's not that light but it's it's light as in like a small bit uh, heavier than the LZs. I felt that the LZs were a small bit lighter, but um, these, you know, they're not a heavy boot, you know, like, that you might get for rugby or something like that. But uh, also, they're actually, they're perfect in weight uh, terms because they're not too heavy, they're not too light, like you wouldn't get any powerful shots or anything. So they're literally a perfect boot in, in that sense. And just basically the colors, really nice colors. Your laces are in your purple. Um, and that's really it. You get your black swoosh at the front. Uh, that's really it about the boot. Really, it's. Uh, it's uh, I would recommend this boot to anyone who's considering buying these. Uh, they're a great boot. I I haven't tried them out yet. Actually, is my point out. But um, hopefully, they will uh be a good boot and they will live up to my expectations. Uh, so uh we I'm gonna have a comparison between the Predator LZs and the. Nike CTR 360 Maestro 2s, so if you keep check that out when we put that up, um, and also we have some free kicks. Uh, I have an unboxing of the Predator LCs. We have an unboxing of the Predator Incursors. So please check those out. It would be really nice. Uh, and we will always be uploading some more free kicks. You know, try to get as much in there as possible. Uh, with the new boots, testing out the new boots. There'll be tests. You know, everything that you really want. Um, but that's. Really it for the boot, so please just subscribe to our channel uh, and check out the videos. We really good. We need all the views we can get. So thanks for watching.